Well, off the air, Kelly and Chris were talking about their dogs, and as usual, I can't really contribute to the conversation because I don't have one. Well, that's okay. Maybe one day, right? Exactly. You could get a pet bear, maybe take him for a ride in your Absolutely car. Absolutely not. <laughs> Let's not do that. We don't want to have to cover another story about a bear getting loose. Getting, exactly. Getting loose inside someone's car and messing up. You also up. don't want me being in the hospital for the next two months. That's true. We need you here, Mitch. Uh, yeah. Everybody enjoys it. Yeah. We love having you here in the morning show. We give you a hard time, but we, we, we enjoy, enjoy it. Being Who here. else would we give a hard time to? Chris? Well, I mean, we could, but it's just not, not the same. <laughs> Let's get into that forecast, though. Pretty hot and humid one in store across eastern Kentucky. Temperatures mild this morning. Let's take over to those temperature map now. And we're tracking those temperatures in the 60s. So area-wide, a mild start. Lower 70s for folks there in Lexington over to Louisville. So a little bit warmer to our west. But one thing is for sure, we're all going to be warm and humid later on this afternoon as temperatures soar into the upper 80s to right around 90 degrees. Now, looking at that bus stop forecast, of course, some patchy fog possible early on this morning. And we're going to see that give way to mostly sunny skies, very hot, very humid conditions through the afternoon hours. And then look for some clouds to begin to increase later on tonight and into your Wednesday. That's going to be ahead of that cold front we've been talking about over the past couple of days. It's going to bring some rain chances back into the forecast. But the Mountain Almanac showing a sunrise here in about 25 minutes or so at 7.09. That sunset getting earlier in time each evening down down to 7.52 later on. And we're going to see that waning crescent for our moon phase right now. But the new moon is going to be arriving here in the next couple of days. And we're going to see some big changes ahead, especially with our weather pattern. We're going to see a big shift, what we like to call it, from those unseasonably warm conditions to unseasonably cool conditions. And we're just going to deal with one more hot weather day, and that's going to be some good news if you're looking for that relief from the heat. But rain chance is going to really begin to ramp up, and we're going to see a couple cold fronts. We're going to call it a one-two punch. It's going to give us here in the Commonwealth, and that's going to provide one those rain chances and two that cooler weather. And it's going to lead to a fall-like weekend as we head towards your Saturday and Sunday. Now, live pinpoint showing you a clean sweep across all of eastern Kentucky now and really much of the region. That's because of that high pressure anchored across the Virginias. That's keeping us all dry. And for the most part, we stay mostly dry through the afternoon hours outside of that stray chance for a shower storm. But look off towards the west, the left part of your screen here, cold front working across the Great Lakes region. That's going to swing towards the south and east, and that's going to bring our rain chances. We do head into your Wednesday night and into early Thursday morning. And then as it tracks through Wednesday afternoon, look for some more redevelopment to occur. But we're talking a one two punch here. So here's the first cold front. The next one signaling across Canada and portions of the Dakotas. That's going to arrive on our doorstep as we head into Saturday morning. Could bring the chance for maybe a few showers, but more importantly, going to bring that cool, dry air across eastern Kentucky. And it's going to feel pretty nicely, especially as we head into your Saturday afternoon and then once again for Sunday. Now, looking at future view, we start things off at 9 o'clock this morning. Temperatures mild, already into the Upper 60s, right around 70 degrees. We eventually climb into the lower 80s by lunchtime. Upper 80s for highs this afternoon. And here comes that cloud cover. It's going to increase across all the Commonwealth, eventually overspreading eastern Kentucky through tonight into your Wednesday. And then that cold front's going to edge closer to central and eastern Kentucky. And that's going to provide those storm chances, especially as we head into your Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. And it's a little bit more widespread in nature, so covering a good chunk of real estate as we do head into your Wednesday evening. We'll catch a break in the activity as we head through Wednesday night at some point and then back into Thursday morning. But more activity expected to redevelop as that cold front tracks across eastern Kentucky into Thursday afternoon. So the heating of the day is going to allow for some more showers to develop, maybe a few thunderstorms as well, especially as we head into Thursday afternoon. And then we're going to see things begin to dry out just a little bit as we head into your early Friday morning. Maybe a few lingering showers. And then that second cold front will arrive for the first part of your weekend. And, of course, bringing that cool shot of air along with a chance for maybe a stray shower through the morning hours. And a look at that seven-day forecast showing you temperatures really nose diving here. Down into the lower 80s by Wednesday, upper 70s by Thursday into Friday, mid to upper 70s possible this weekend. But plenty of sunshine on tap, especially as we head into early next week. Let's get that fourth and final check of the refrigerator art this morning. See what we have behind the magnets. Love showcasing all the beautiful art from the kids here across eastern Kentucky. Nice photo sent in from Caitlin over at May Valley Elementary. Time now is 647. You're watching Mountain News this morning right here on WYMT.